Hey everybody, welcome to the tutorial video for the new Sportsman Access Program Lottery Portal. We have partnered up with Rec Access to bring everyone a new streamlined um, portal system so that you can manage uh, your lottery tickets, your SAP membership, and you know, so us on the back end can manage the lottery aspect of the program. Um, so I'm just going to run through a few things to hopefully make this introduction pretty quick and easy for everyone. The first step is going to be creating a Rec Access account. So this is pretty standard. Just go through, create a username for yourself. You can create a password. Give us your email address here, and then someone's profile information, just your first and last name, your mailing address, your birthday, and then your phone number. And then down here for this additional information, we do ask that you provide emergency contact information in case we should ever need that. And then down here, the liability waiver, we do require everyone to read through all of these rules and then sign your name down here at the bottom. Um, some of these rules are specific to certain properties. So you really wanna make sure that, you know, if you're hunting at Low Water Bridge, you're abiding by the antler restrictions, um, just things like that. Some rules seem really common sense, but we just wanna make sure we're covering all our bases when we have people hunting on our properties. So just make sure you come down here and, and your name. By signing your name, you're saying that you understand these rules, you're agreeing to follow these rules. So if we ever find out that you are breaking these rules, we reserve the right to revoke any future hunting privileges from you. So read this and take this very seriously. Once you've completed all that information, you are going to hit create account. I've already created an account for myself, so I'm going to hit login, but anyone else would hit create account here. So once your account is created and you're logged in, this is gonna bring you to your user dashboard. This is just a really central location to see anything related to your account history or your, um, your user profile. You're gonna see your username here, and then you're also going to be assigned a Rec Access ID or RAID. This is gonna replace any other membership IDs that you may have been assigned if you uh, were previously a member of the Sportsman Access Program. So you're no longer going to need those old memberships as long as you just, you know, you remember your, your raid and it's going to be right here on your dashboard if you ever need it. But this is how we're going to post um, lottery winners as soon as a draw period closes. We'll post um, the block in the week and then we'll post the winning um, user based on their rec access ID. So after you kind of familiarize yourself with this whole dashboard area, you can come up here to purchase membership or lottery tickets. So this shows you all of the membership levels that we have. You can see that it's $100 through $500. Uh, the pricing model has pretty much stayed the same. For every $100 that you spend, you get four lottery entries. So just pick which level you're comfortable with signing up for and, um, just know that that membership is going to be good for a year. Even if you use up all of your lottery entries before that one year has passed, that membership itself is good for one year. So in order to come down here and purchase any additional lottery entries, you have to have an active annual membership. So just pick, pick one of these that you're comfortable with. And then after that, you can purchase as many additional lottery entries for these specific lottery periods as you want to. Um, so I have already for myself purchased a membership. So just to show you, it's not gonna let me, if I add this to my cart, it's not gonna let me purchase another one because I already have an active membership. So I would have to wait for that one year period to expire, but I can still go in and buy more lottery tickets. All I have to do is return to product list. And let's say I'm really interested in archery hunting this fall. So I'm gonna hit this 2022 fall hunt additional lottery entry and these are $25 each so you know the, the price per draw still stays the same. So if I hit view I can add this to my cart and another cool feature that we have is that you can add for other so if I were to hit add for other as long as I have my you know my cousin or my buddy whoever I'm adding it to as long as I have their rec access ID and I know their first initial and their last initial, then I can add it to their account as well. But I'm going to, sorry, click on this again. I'm gonna add it to my cart. And say I wanna do not just one, I wanna do a few. So there's two, there's three, and there's four. So I'm gonna add all four to my cart and I'm gonna check out. 
So you can see that I just added four more lottery entries to my card and I'm gonna confirm. Okay, this is fake credit card information for this test site. So you can't steal my credit card information. Okay, confirm, say yes. And you can also offset the processing fee here. So I'm gonna say yes. All right, so this is what happens when you purchase a membership or a lottery ticket. Um, it's gonna pop up here and you can view your lottery tickets. All right, so like I said, I have already purchased a membership that gave me four lottery entries, but here are the four that are brand new that I just purchased. You can see here that they're associated with the 2022 file hunt lottery. So all I have to do now is click on the sign ticket. And then I select the date that I'm interested in hunting. So let's just say that. And then I can select any property that I want to. So the point block five. I hit save and apply, and there you go. Now you can see that this lottery entry is associated with this specific block and week. Another thing that you can do is join the group. So if, you, if your buddy has already used one of their tickets, all you have to do is search for their raid, it's a rec access ID, and then type in their first and last initial, and that's gonna pull up any hunts associated with their uh, user, with their membership. So, you know, as long as you're, you and your friend are on the same page about where you want to hunt and what dates you want to hunt, you can just, you can pull up any of their lottery tickets and join them as well. You know, once you've gone through and selected your preferences for all of these, it'll kind of show you exactly what you applied for. That way it's really easy to log in and just view anything that you've already um, selected. You can also go in here and modify. So I can, I can change any of this if I want to. I can change it to maybe late October instead of petty. Maybe I want to hunt the water bridge block four. I can change that and update it. Um, this one has not been assigned or configured. These, let's see, one, two, three here. It'll show you how many you have that are still um, available to assign. So you know, you want to make sure that if they're specific for the fall hunt, that you do use up all of these before the deadline for the fall hunt. So that's going to be August 16th. And we'll send out reminders about all these. But, you know, again, it is a very easy and intuitive way to just see where, you know, all of your lottery tickets are, what you've applied for, how many you have left. If you decide to group hunt, that, you know, would make it really easy for you to view all of that, um, you know, at a glance. You can sort them by unassigned. So these are the ones that I have left. I can decide to use these wherever I want to. Once we have held the lottery, you can sort these by once lotteries that you've won or lost, and it'll show you results to those as well. Um, do sorted by depending on which lottery you applied for. Um, all of mine were for the fall so far. So that, there's that. Um, Let's see, that's a pretty good overview up here. Across the top, I have some different tabs that might kind of help you out. Um, the help page is pretty generic. I'm gonna post this video tutorial here on this page as soon as I'm done recording. Properties, also pretty self-explanatory. Just, um, you know, we have links to PDFs of each of these. So once you click on these, it'll open up a PDF. You can download that if you'd like. You can, you know, print it off, do whatever you want to with it. And then down here is a very important chart for anyone who's going to be doing any deer hunting. Uh, we have, for our different properties, we're in three different zones, um, according to the WRC. So Northwest zone, Central zone, and the Southeast zone. So, you know, with those different zones, each season comes in at different times. So just make sure you know exactly, you know, what season you're in whenever you're hunting on our properties. You don't want to get in trouble for hunting with a rifle if it's still... Um, you know, muzzleloader season on the property. Rules, again, this is the same thing that you already agreed to, but it's just really helpful to come back and revisit those. If there's any important changes, I'll make sure to email everyone and let you know, but in general, it's up to you to make sure that you abide by all of these rules. 
frequently asked questions. These are just some things that I, questions I get a lot. So just trying to post them here to save everyone a little bit of time. I'll be adding to these as people ask more questions about this new hunting portal. So just check back here pretty frequently to see more um, questions posted. And then again, back up here is the um, link to purchase your membership or lottery tickets. Um, I think everything is pretty self-explanatory, but you know, just feel free to reach out to me if you ever have any questions. You can email me, steely, S-T-E-E-L-Y at trlt.org, or you can call our office here, 704-647-0302. Um, we just want to make this as easy as possible for everyone. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.